the Nissan Duke, featuring Apple CarPlay. Now, from only $78 per week, when you finance with Nissan Future Value, plus the standard five-year unlimited kilometer warranty. Book a test drive at Nissan today. The Nissan Duke. Let's improvise. Morning, I'm Tamara Cartwright. Hollywood is mourning the loss of actor Donald Sutherland today. He was known for his roles in MASH and The Hunger Games and died at the age of 88 following a long illness. His son and fellow actor Kiefer Sutherland says he had a life well lived. The Prime Minister has downplayed criticism of Labor MPs sharing nuclear power memes on social media. Opposition leader Peter Dutton plans to overturn the nuclear ban and build seven reactors by 2037. When asked if these posts were childish on the ABC, Anthony Albanese deflected the question. Lighten up. For goodness sake, what they're trying to do here, it is, it is their responsibility, the coalition, if they have not put out any facts. There is no detail. The local building and construction industry's peak body has welcomed the government's land release announcement, but claims the land is not ready to be used. If you look at the land they're proposing to release in Malongo, nearly 60% of that is in one block of land that they're re-releasing and it's unlikely to be fully ready for construction for at least a few years. Michael Hopkins, CEO of Master Builders ACT there. More than 800,000 square metres of land will be released over the next five years. The Civic Car Park, located between the ACT Courts and the Melbourne Building, will soon be transformed, with plans for a new mixed-use office, accommodation and retail precinct unveiled today. The Capital Property Group is expected to begin the redevelopment in November, with work scheduled for completion in 2027. A bodyguard to the UK Prime Minister has been arrested, accused of betting on the election date just days before it was called. Two Conservative Party candidates are also being investigated for suspects. And skinny dippers flock to Lake Burley Griffin this morning, all for a good cause, for Lifeline's nude solstice swim. Peter Lindemann, brother of the late Ian Lindemann, who founded the swim in Canberra, says the cold water helps wash away negativity and is a good reset. Jump in the water, refresh our spirit, cleanse our soul on the shortest day of the year, and all our money that we raise goes to Lifeline. Make Australia's best-selling compact SUV yours today. Get that new car feeling for less in a brand new MG ZS from just 22990 drive away. Hurry into your local MG today. Visit Canberra Outlet for outdoor adventure. Kathmandu, Adventure Megastore, Macpac and Escape 2. Canberra Avenue, Fishwick. The Panthers, Warriors, Sharks and our very own Raiders are firming as the NRL teams headed to Las Vegas next year, with Melbourne reportedly backing out of making an application to League HQ. And it's Bangladesh first up for Mitch Marsh's Australia in the T20 World Cup Super 8s this morning. The skipper says there'll be no pushovers. We know in these conditions that Bangladesh are a strong team, so we've got a lot of respect for them um, and hopefully we can bring our A game. This is Will, and Will always likes more. That's why Will uses car sales to buy a car. We have over 200,000 new, used and demo cars to choose from, all there on the app. Perfect. Car sales in Melbourne Storm. More, better. Alexander Watson Insulation. Canberra's cold, but your house doesn't have to be. Showers today in a top of 11, mostly sunny for your weekend, 13 degrees tomorrow and sunny on Sunday, top of 14 there. Get the latest news anytime with Amplifier's Canberra Cast podcast.